hello guys today our project is to control a stepper motor using an IR remote for this project we are going to need an Arduino an IR remote a stepper motor a stepper motor driver breadboard some couple, couple of jumper wires an IR receiver two sources of power in this particular project we want to use one nine volt battery to to power the Arduino and the breadboard and the other 9 volt to power the, the stepper motor itself because it, it requires a lot of power. So to start our project we're going to do our wiring. We're going to start by wiring the, the driver for the stepper motor. If you look at it closely you will see that it has 4 pins on the side which is in 1, 2, 3 and 4 which are going to be used to control the direction and speed of the stepper motor so we are going to put four jumper wires there that are going to be routed to the Arduino like so right we also have to have two wires that are going to be used for the powering source uh, on the side you see it has two two pins one negative one one for for five to twelve volts so in this particular case we are going to use uh, these two pins to draw power onto the stepper motor like so so this does the powering up of the uh, the driver we, now we want to connect the stepper motor to the driver it comes with an adapter that you just snap on like this so this completes the, the connection of the driver onto the stepper motor now the next part that we want to do is to connect this driver now to the Arduino and the breadboard because we will be powering it from the breadboard we are going to use those two wires that we connected on the negative and positive on the driver onto the breadboard so the ground will go onto the negative rail of the breadboard and the, the, the five volt wire will go onto the positive rail of the breadboard like so I'm going to use a little tap in order to keep this on the on the table whilst we are working on the project like this right so the next thing that we want to do is to put the other wires from in one, two, three, four onto the breadboard, onto the Arduino. So the first I1 will go in one will go into pin digital pin number eight, two will go bit of pin number nine, uh, in three will go digital pin number ten, and in four will go into digital pin number eleven. That completes the wiring of the stepper right. motor. So the next thing that we want to do is to connect the IR receiver that we are going to use to communicate with the remote. The IR receiver comes with three pins and one pin is going to be for ground, the other one is the middle pin is going to be for the voltage or the power and then the last one is going to be for the signal. So we are going to power the IR receiver from the Arduino itself. So we are going to have our ground being connected onto the ground onto on the Arduino and then we are going to pull 5 volts from the Arduino also like so then the signal wire is going to be connected to pin number 6 on, on the digital side right. so that does the connection for the uh, IR receiver and again I'm going to tap it on so that it can stay put like so so now that we have connected the IR receiver the driver and the stepper motor what we want to do is to power the Arduino using the one of the nine volts and the other one is for the breadboard to power the motor stepper motor right with this complete you can get the code for this project from my website using the link below and I added an arrow on here so that at least we can see the movement of the stepper motor so if everything is wired correctly if we use the up and down volume you should be able to control the stepper motor like so it will go through 360 and if you you go with the down volume it should go the opposite direction mm. 
this is how you control the stepper motor using a, using a remote see you in the next video